definitely go check. I'm at the library attempting to pull a Pokemon card worth well over $2,000, as well as trying to pull every single card from this specific set, or else I'm giving away every card I pull from this binder. This is also the library where I pulled that iconic Ultra Ball, and of course, the ultra rare Charizard. Come on, let's go inside. Welcome. Shh. We have to be quiet. It's the library. Welcome back to my official library series. I'm excited to be back. We're gonna be opening up Burning Shadows to go for that hyper rare Charizard. And of course, attempting to complete a master set, which I will be updating throughout this video today. Now, if we don't pull that Charizard by the end of this series, I will be giving y'all the chance to get every card that we pull in this entire series, which will be going in this binder. If you would like a chance, subscribe to this channel, leave a like on this video, and let me know, it's 2024. What are some of your goals that you have for this year and why? If you would like additional chances throughout this whole series, please, please, please share this video. You can see the little sign right here that's popping up. That's how you can officially share the video, like on your Twitter or other pages, for additional chances at what should be lots and lots of cards. But of course, let's begin with number one pack. Shh, I forgot how loud the wrappers are. The code. So we are attempting to complete a master set. It's a fairy energy. So every single card is important to us. And we'll be updating the binder, as I said, throughout this video. Burning Shadows is a set that is a fairly popular set, even though it came out years and years ago. Dupider, Super Scoopa. That being said, it is a very... Oops. Oh, the sun's now getting in my eye. It's a very difficult set. Did I do four cards? Okay, yeah. It's a very difficult set to get good pulls in. So, for now, as we're attempting to get every single card, even the reverse hollows, I will be going a bit slower, and then we can speed up a bit later on. It's a reverse Deancey, that's a rare, not bad. And an Electivire. As you saw, for today's video, I'm opening up two booster boxes. However, I have plenty more to, and it, you at home can be doing the Guess the Energy. I just don't wanna be too, too loud, unless we pull, it's your boy Guzma. Unless we actually pull something very nice which there are some pretty nice cards, uh, including that Charizard, which is, as I said, uh, it's actually going for more than $2,000 if you get a PSA 10, which is uh, the grading service, Leaf Energy, <laughs> Psychic Energy. But I'm excited to be back here. The library has gone through some changes throughout the years. We've had fun times here, not reading books, but actually <laughs> haven't pulled anything yet. Uh, not reading books, but opening cards since the series started back in 2016, maybe 15 actually. So we've been doing this series for a while. So I'm excited to see what we can do here now, throughout this series, because it won't be just one video, obviously, I'll be going to different spots of the library because I'm not going to be able to get every single spot that I want. I actually, they, they put the table back where I pulled the Ultra Ball, where I pulled the Charizard. It's right over here. It's, 
it's it's just right over there. It's not too far away, but there's somebody sitting at it, so I can't necessarily go uh, move him out of that spot or even do it by him. But as we have our first pool of the day, it's a Rhyperior holographic, not bad. And uh, yeah, I'll be updating the binder. I won't be just sitting here updating it. Like some of it will be a bit faster me updating it, like my editor, Hi Mav, he'll be updating it uh, faster, but if I want to mention if we actually pull some ultra rares finally, there's another mushroom, uh, maybe I'll mention some stuff. But I have pulled this Charizard card before, granted it took when I originally was trying to pull it, it took over a year and a half for me to finally pull the Charizard card. In fact, there's actually a video on my channel, two of them, uh, which will probably be popping up on screen, maybe here and here, where I actually pulled the Charizard from this set after it took me a year and a half. I pulled it in two videos straight. Yes, you heard that right. Two videos straight. After taking that long to finally pull it. You can't like make that stuff up. But that was years ago in my old, old studio. Now I want to pull that Charizard. Now I want to get a master set. Something that is very difficult to do. But I... A Palisan. It's a holographic card. Something that is doable. Well, maybe. The ultra rares in this set, as I mentioned, are very difficult to come by. So... I'll see what I can do. Kiawe, there's a full art card of Kiawe, which is really nice. Uh, there's an Ace Rolla, full art trainer. There's a Guzma, full art trainer. There's lots of good cards. But so far, none that we have pulled. So really holding out hope for our first ultra rare. And yes, there are babies here. So uh, I am not the loudest person here, believe it or not. So let's see, there's a full art trainer wig as well. There's a lot of full art trainers, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, Dusk Noor, that is a holographic. I don't know the official pull rates for this set, not that there are, but I don't even remember, I guess, based off of the experience of how I've done in the past, of how many ultra rares should we be expecting from a box? I feel like we should be getting one fairly soon, and that would be a very nice win. There's an Alolan Ninetales, and a Bruxish. Bruxish. Sean Connery. Let's go with Psychic Energy. I'm not doing the guess the energy, but y'all can. I just don't want to talk too much. Is there somebody there? Oh, right there. I think she works here. Well, I've never been kicked out before. That would make for a nice thumbnail and title. But I don't want to get banned. And a little eradicate. All right, we've been caught. I'm gonna continue going. We've got to pull something. I'm invisible. Fairy energy. Let me make sure that's recording there. Electric. Repeat. Moro, Charmander, Paragon, yes! And we have our first ultra rare of the day, a Mars Shadow GX. I'm gonna set that one to the side. We're actually almost done with the first half of the first box. So what I'm gonna do is open up the remainder of these packs and then I'll update the binder. I think because I've never done this before where I'm updating a binder during this series. So I figured I'll learn along the way. We'll learn along the way. What's the best way of updating the binder for y'all? Nine tails. We have only pulled one ultra rare so far, but I don't expect us to pull everything uh, ultra rare wise right away. So it'll be a journey. Gotta respect. There we go. So a very, very nice secret rare escape rope as our very nice 
secret rare pool of the day. Now that doesn't mean you usually you still get like a hyper rare in a box, which is what we're going for. The escape rope is nice that we need those for the master set purposes. We got three more packs of the first half of this box. Let us see. Oddish, Persian, Mudsdale. Two more packs. And then I'll clean up this mess over here too. But as, we, as you see, we're starting to get repeats of the cards, of the commons and uncommons, which is fine. That's a very nice reverse rare. We're gonna be needing the reverse rares. Final pack of the first half. We got plenty of packs to go today. And don't forget, we'll be updating the binder in very, very short moments. Stuffle, Broccoli, Krogunk, Butterfree, nice. And a Vile Plume Holographic. All right, let's update the binder. Right over here. So I just laid out all of the cards from just the first round of packs and then realized as I was about to put them in the binder, it's a bit more tedious to do it this way. So what I'm gonna do for the other ones, organize them all on this table, and then I'll put them in the binder probably towards the end. All right, let's continue with the next half of this box and see what we can do. Probably go a bit faster now. Uh, we got the Azumarill for the rare. If you would like another video to watch, as soon as you're done watching this one, well, I did a video recently where I opened up all heavy vintage packs of Pokemon cards. Heracross? I think I'm spoiling a rare. I need to watch what I'm doing. Uh, basically, it just means there's more than likely a holographic card on the inside of those packs. And while there wasn't a hollow in every pack, uh, I opened up an entire base set two box to try to make sure that we were able to get enough holographics. But what I did was every single hollow that I pulled from the box, I'm giving it away to y'all. Uh, that one's about to end. So if you want one last chance to go enter for that one, I think it's like 11 or 12 holographics, probably 11 vintage holographics, freshly pulled from packs from base set two. Uh, definitely go watch that video. There's another one, a uh, holo. Uh, I'll put a link in the description as well. It probably popped up what it looks like if you wanna go save that video. But really fun video, cause every single, I don't need to do the card trick, I guess, but every single pack uh, is a chance at holographic. So it was really fun. Uh, if you don't want to watch that, but you do want to see another really, really big video, I'll update the binder next to show you the commons and uncommons, but I kind of want to keep it moving because we do have a lot of packs. Uh, it's more than you think as far as, or it looks more than you think. <laughs> Scooper, super scoop up. Is that the rare? Oh, did I, hopefully I didn't miss a rare or something like that in these. No, I don't think I did, but there we go. Tapu the Morning, not the biggest fans of these type of uh, Pokemon like Tapu Lele, but uh, at the time Tapu Lele was a, one of the better ones. Or was it Tapu Fini? Boy meets world Fini. Sophocles, I think that's a reverse. I think we need, well, we need a lot of cards right now for the master set. Uh, but I opened up every pack of Pokemon cards ever made. Uh, yes, it was a very long video. Oh, very nice, a Darkrai GX. I'll take that. Um, and that video was a lot of fun because it was in every pack from uh, Scarlet and Violet 151 all the way to base set. And all of the Wizards of the Coast packs were first edition. Minus the base set, but the base set we have another, oh, Dancy, Dancy Holographic, nice. Uh, the base set one was a heavy one, just like what I was trying to say. So if you wanna go watch that, you can as well. But I'll mention it later, Malamar, and the, the turtle is the uh, rear card. So I'm going a bit faster right now. 
as we do have a whole nother box to get to. Duskull, but there it is. Creepy Mastic is the rare. And I'll update the binder when it comes to it very, very shortly as a very nice Gyarados Reverse Rare. Not bad. It does take way longer than I thought to uh, to sit through these cards here. And update, hey! All right, in a lowland mug. So the ultra rares are starting to come in, but there's really nothing too, too crazy that we've pulled so far. Or at least, you know, from the ones that I was mentioning. But there are more hyper rares in this set. There's more hyper rares to pull than just the Charizard. There's Tapu Boy meets World Fini. Not the full art, of course, or the hyper rare. Um, so this is the final pack of the first box. We'll update the binder right after this pack. But we still have, and I'll show you what we got left, a Zoomerol. We still have the other box. Here's the second half done. I know it doesn't look like much because a lot of it is duplicates, but it is getting a bit more. All right, it is time for the second box after we just updated the binder once again, making good leeway, but we still got lots of stuff to go. Uh, and again, go a little bit faster when you put it in focus over here. Malamar is the rare. Don't forget, it is a bit louder here, but we gotta be, gotta be quiet. But uh, in the past, we did pull the Ultra Ball. The Ultra Ball from the Sun and Moon set. 2016, I believe. Maybe 15, but that was a lot of fun because that was the first time pulling or this series started. Where I would come here and Open up the cards, and we get a Rhyperior. I think we've pulled that holographic. But do I see like, like here? The sun, the sun is just making me seem way more pale. <laughs> I promise you, I do go outside sometimes. But if you are uh, a regular member, part of the Heart Squad, thank you so much for being here for so long. We've been doing YouTube for, wait, 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 a Zygarde holographic. We've been doing YouTube for like 10 years now, a whole decade. It's been quite the journey. And uh, there's gonna be a lot, a lot of fun stuff that I have coming up this year, which I do have some time to talk about some of the items, but we have another Darkrai GX. Well, I guess, uh, extra cards for y'all, but, uh, I'll, uh, I'm not, oh, Raichu, I'm getting distracted now, I'm trying to tell y'all, um, schedule video-wise, uh, what I'm going to be trying to do is most likely post every Friday, it may change, but it'll be at least once a week, uh, so there's that. And if it's on Friday, like this video, usually like 12, 15 p.m. Central Time. What is that? Uh, 10, 15 Pacific, 11, 15 for you Mountaineers, and uh, 1, 15 Eastern. I think I hit all the U.S. times. <laughs> Minus is Arizona not part of Daylight Savings? I don't know. Don't confuse me. Um, but yeah, it'll be like one video a week is wait 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 yeah yes very nice a plumeria full heart trainer that's great that's a really nice looking card too so i'm putting that in the special pile don't forget this is the second box we didn't pull a hyper rare in the first box which it's kind of weird you're not guaranteed don't get me wrong but uh, in the past, usually you would get like a hyper rare. We did get a secret rare trainer card, as we have another. But this is a different style, a low unmuck, I believe. 
All right. Um, wait, that's already the uh, end of that box. Let's update the binder. There was a lot of repeats, which made it much faster, but we do have some reverse DNC. We also have a holographic Raishu. We did get a repeat of this dark one right here. There's a Zygarde Hollow. We did get a repeat of this muck, which is right over there. And then we did get this very nice trainer, which we'll put over there. So one more to go. Oh, hello. Don't forget every card that I've been putting in this binder at the end of the series. If we don't pull that Charizard, this binder going to one of y'all. You know what to do, subscribe, leave a like, let me know what are your goals for 2024, and if you want extra chances throughout the series, share this video. But without further ado, we have the final half of the box. I may have even opened one or two from the second half, but uh, it doesn't matter. You saw what we got earlier, and it's all going to the same cause. The let's actually pull and get this in focus. Let's actually pull a Hyper Rare Charizard. Beautiful card. Uh, honestly surprised it's still going for that much money. Uh, it's not just $2,000. Uh, you saw some of the sold listings and other sales from earlier. It's actually going for well over $2,000. In fact, I think it was like, like $2,500 was one of them, if I'm remembering correctly. Another one was like $2,400. But these reverses, they all help when you're trying to complete the set. And like I said, uh, I've tried completing master sets before. It's a very, very daunting task. But it's possible. It is possible. Good, we need the meow stick reverse because every card has a reverse as well. It's gonna make it take so long to get everything. But we do have plenty of boxes. Very nice Pikachu. We do have plenty of boxes. I'm sorry if this pack has been so loud. I am trying to go for the authentic feel using my old school setup. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, look at that Salazzle GX. Not bad. All right. Everything counts. Everything counts. Uh, other plans for 2024. Um... Like, I can't spoil much. Very nice Lucario Hollow. I can't spoil much. Uh, I am working on another big event. Um, definitely, I think y'all are gonna really enjoy it. It's not a pop-up shop event, but it's something completely different. But wait. Ooh, another Salazzle. <laughs> well, if you're a Salazzle fan, get on down. I got the full art. We got the ultra rare. I mean, I guess there's a Hyper Rare. We haven't pulled a Hyper Rare yet. I'm really holding out hope for the Hyper Rare. Do people, do people just walk by? Open up some packs. Do a little guest series. Hey, you. Yes, you. Would you like to come open up some packs? Oh, yes. There's no one there. Just in case. Lycan Rock. Holographic. Well, we're coming down this many. Of course, I'll do a final update of the binder. Actually, I'll do a final update of the binder. Well, I guess right after the last pack. Technically, I was going to do it now. But then again, might as well try to get every single card so you can see. But we have a few packs. We'll update the binder. And we will go from there. If you don't want to see the binder updated, which I think you should, because it's potentially going to y'all, most likely. That Charizard's hard to pull. Um, then you can go ahead and Go watch via link in the description uh the opening all heavy vintage pack video definitely go check it out there we go a noivern hyper rare our first hyper rare of the series with only two packs remaining how about that that is nice. All right, gently putting that one there. And I look forward to updating the binder with that specific one. And we reached the final pack. But we will have, this will be a continuing series until 
We try to pull the Charizard. Binder time. It is done. It is at least organized in order on the table. Now to put in the binder. take you through the full binder of what we have pulled. It did take a pretty long time to actually put all these in what I think is the order. That being said, as you can see, the blanks are for like the reverse forms and more holographic cards of each. But if you at home are watching and you see something that I'm not doing it in the right order, please let me know. But just so you can kind of go fairly fast, we do have a lot that we need to continue to pull, but especially for like the trainers over here, it's nice to see the pages a little bit more full for that one. And that's a full complete page right here, which is great. Then you have some fuller trainers. Yeah, a lot of work to go on this one. Pretty sure like this one is where the Charizard would go. Then you got the escape rope and the energies. Thank you all so much for watching. Right above me, go click on that video for your chance at Vintage Holographics. Stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll see y'all next time.